friends and welcome back to my channel. So girl, all the cheap. If you don't already know that that means you're new to my channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell to become a member of the Lucia Gang family because we are growing, glowing. It is forever a movement. So today's video, I have a three in one special fall get ready with me video. I'm going to be featuring a lavy hair. So we're going to do the hair, the makeup, and then the outfit. So if you guys want to see the outfit, the hair, and the makeup, then please keep on watching. Classic. Right before we hop into the video, just want to give a quick shout out to Coke Sun Signature. I'm going to leave the Instagram here on the screen and somewhere down in the description box as well for gifting me this gorgeous robe and the bonnet is actually a set it comes together love her design she's actually sewn an outfit for me in the past and everybody loved it i'm probably gonna put a picture up here it was like my first ever i should be and she did such a great job this piece as well is so cute it's a nice silk and cara robe everybody needs one that closet this is the hair that i'm going to be trying on I believe this is in the length 20 inches. Doesn't look it because it's curly hair. It's a superior grade. It's like a deep curly, deep wave style. And then it also came with this nice cute queen um, hairpin. So this is the first time I'm ever trying on hair from this company. I'm going to give you guys my honest review and we're going to be styling this hair together. So it didn't come this color, it actually came up like black brown like the natural hair color and then i actually went in and put in these like little highlights and ombre by myself because i thought i was just gonna add an extra flare and touch all right so it came in a dhl bag i'm going to show you guys how it came and then when i pulled it out it comes directly in um, the hair bag and it says lobby hair obviously you guys can see what it says but yeah we're just gonna pull that out like i was telling you guys previously it actually came in the regular human hair color um, which is like a brown black came with some instructions like hair care instructions um, I can either give you cash back for like reviewing things like that just like promotional stuff um, and yeah so you guys are just gonna see me kind of unbox the hair firsthand um, and then I'm definitely gonna show you guys how I colored it I'm not giving you guys an in-depth tutorial or anything so do not expect like the world y'all but I'm just really showing you guys like just a little like clip of what I did um, and how it like turned out and I'm also gonna show you guys the hair loss It's really hard to film, like hold the camera with one hand and try to unbox at the same time. Like you guys, all these people that do it, kudos, kudos, like this thing was a struggle. So I'm going to show you guys what you guys need. You need like the bleach um, 30 and a 20 developer, shimmer light shampoo with like, the coloring and melanin oil. So I had already poured in, uh, mixed in the 30 developer with the bleach. Um, and now I'm mixing the other side with 20 with the bleach. So um, you guys are gonna see, or I'm gonna explain to you guys what I did. One on the bottom, I mostly put like a 30 developer because I wanted that to be lighter and kind of give like a little bit of an ombre effect. And then more streaks of the hair, I used more of a 20. In the front, also I used some more 30. It's not gonna show in the video, so I'm just gonna tell you guys when I'm putting what on where. So right now, what I'm applying is the 20 developer. So I'm applying 20 developer all over through the hair because I you know, want it to be like super, super light. Um, I was going for more of like highlights, um, but not really, really light highlights. I want to like a highlight and an operating effect at the same time, if that makes any sense. So the streaks on the top are going to be like the highlight portions, and I'm, I don't have any particular way of doing this. I'm literally just like going in random sections and putting it on. Bleach um, solution was a little dry. I probably could have used a little bit more developers to just make it a little more creamy, but you know, it was like flaky up in there. <laughs> okay, now I switch over to the 30 developer because this is the bottom um, end of the hair, and I'm going to be applying that just to the bottom, like I said, to create that kind of like gradient um, effect. I'm trying to be generous, but again, I'm not like eyeballing it. I did section out the hair, so it's not going to be like the most even. Some parts, unfortunately, had more color than the others, but it's all possible. Things, things. Oh, joint. So now um, I'm just showing you guys. After I uh, finished applying all of my, my bleach and stuff, 
I ended up wrapping it in some foil and just letting it sit. I let it sit for about like 40 minutes. And then I came back um, and I chipped on it. And oh look at the beautiful color. That is cute. And I'm just showing you guys how much hair I lost in the process too. So I didn't show you guys this part, but I washed out some Shimmer Life shampoo and let's get on with the video. Okay, so there are four pins inside of the hair. You have one on the bottom, one on the top, and two on the sides, or four, four combs, sorry. And then you also have like the elastic portion here that's adjustable. I always have to put this elastic portion on because my head is so small. And then um, it's a full on lace front wig. So like a 13 by 6 frontal and it's all full the entire way around. Alright, so all I did was bleach the lace a little bit when I was coloring the hair. Um, but as far as like plucking the lace, I didn't do any of that. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and spray my airbrush leg. It's a little bit like darker or lesser lighter than my skin color thing. But it does a good job whenever I blend it. I am losing some hair, mostly like the colored hair though, so that's interesting. So I'm now going to put some products in my hair, I'm going to put some um, conditioner. loose stranded hair nothing I hate more the hair pretty much done we'll head over to the makeup if you guys are not familiar with my style of makeup I'm just um, going to leave a link to my last get ready with me where I kind of showed you guys the new makeup routine I was trying out and that has actually stuck usually to prime I'll take like my hemp seed oil serum so whenever it starts drying and getting tacky that's when I'll get put my makeup I just really love that because like skincare it is a must right so this is like helping your skin as well as helping your makeup stay on. I feel it kind of tacky on my skin. How I do my makeup now is I kind of put all the products on at the same time and then start to blend them into each other. So we're going to go in with the Genius Place uh, Concealer in the color 12 first. This is pretty much just like my color. And then right on top of that, I'm actually going to go in with my other Juvia's Place Concealer and this is in the color 16. This is a little bit lighter. Actually, it's a lot bit lighter. <laughs> so I'm just going to go into the corners of For my contour, I use the Uoma. 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 I think it's Uoma. I don't know how to say it the American way, but in the Nigeria, it should be Uoma. Uoma. Or Uoma. She just probably wanted to put the U in front of it for bouginess. And then, 
for the rest of my face, it's gonna have like foundation. One of my favorite foundations, the Milani um, Conceal and Perfect in two, two in one in the color Nutmeg or 11A. Two pumps of that usually suffices. A traded brush, right underneath. Pretty much any, anywhere else that there's no product right now, you do is just blend the portions that have the foundation right now. I'm just gonna blend them, and then you blend all the other stuff in. I also learned this little swoop motion that's very helpful apparently for like defining your cheekbones. So voiceover all is cheap back again <laughs> and um, yeah we just gonna blend it all out use the beauty blender use the brush you know all you're trying to do is make the gradient effect you just don't want anything looking sharp you know you know when you're doing the floor work the foundation you don't want it to be too sharp now because then it just gonna look kind of wonky <laughs> so now I am baking well I don't really bake all I do is just kind of press the powder in um, and then I just use like a base powder. I use the lawyer Messier to like set my um, highlighted areas and then I use like a base powder to just blend it all in. I actually put the face powder everywhere, in my highlighted areas everywhere, just kind of bring it all together. And then um, of course blush, blush is a must. Spray your face down, then you highlight baby. Highlight. Oh no, sorry, before you highlight. <laughs> That same palette sometimes it's highlights. Okay, for highlights, I'm just going to like put some eyeshadow. I don't really use eyeshadow sometimes. All I use is like the contour color. And then I line my lips, and I'm using my favorite lip gloss from Candy Beauty in the um, shade Frosting. Then we'll do our brows. Brows is a must. Well, I don't know. I've been doing brows last, and I've actually kind of enjoyed doing them last. Um, I feel like it takes a little more pressure off of me. I just finesse it any, any which way I can. Now um, I'm just going to line my eyes with that kind of red orange color you saw there. Prep my lashes for my falsies, and I'm going to be using the um, Baddies Book Ireland. Yeah, I think it's Baddies Book Ireland in um, Booked and Busy. And you guys, there are levels to lashes, yo. I used to always love long lashes, but I never done something so long before, but it was really nice. And then I'm going to go in with my Glow by Van Nose Cosmetics because you guys know that's my ultimate favorite highlighter, okay? You make me glow from within. And that's all we love to do, baby. That's all we love to do. Oh, I look good. Then put some other highlights in the inner corners and baby, wrap it up. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get our outfit on and then we'll round up this week. Mm -hmm. 